Welcome back guys to another video and today we're gonna talk about how to export your Trezor CSV file to upload it into coin tracking so you can do your crypto taxes really fast. We will guide you step by step how to do the whole process so you know exactly what to do. First thing first, you have to take your Trezor and plug it in into your computer. We've done that here on the left side and we can dive into computer now. Once you're logged in into your Trezor, then you will see the dashboard. On the dashboard, we see all our accounts and you have to export for each currency your CSV file. So we have to go into accounts. In our case, we only have Ethereum here, but if you have Bitcoin and so on, then you will have to do that for each account type. Then we will have to scroll down to the transactions. We have tr two transactions in our account right now. And then you simply click on the three dots. Click on export CSV and that's all you have to do. Simply save the CSV to your computer and once done, you can proceed to coin tracking. Once you're in coin tracking, then you have to go to the CSV import of the Trezor. To find that, simply go to enter coins and then to wallet imports and then to Trezor. Then you will get the same page where I am right now and then you will have the step-by-step -step instruction how to export your CSV one more time. And then once you're here down, you have to select your date format. So we have international and then please enter the currency of your wallet. For our case, it is Ethereum. And then we can enter the wallet name, which is Trezor One ETH. Once done, you can choose your file and upload it into coin tracking. And that's pretty much all you have to do to get your Trezor CSV and then do the cryptos really fast with coin tracking. Once done and all the data is consolidated in your account and you have everything correctly, then we can proceed with the tax report. Now we are in the crypto tax report site where we can generate our tax report. But before we have to set up the tax report with some options and settings. So for the country, we select our country, in our case it's Germany, but there's a variety you can choose from. Then for the tax method, we use first in, first out. But again, there are a lot of tax options you can choose from and depending on your situation, choose the right taxation method. Then for the tax year, we use 23 as our tax year. But again, depending on your trading behavior, there will be many different years uh, to choose from and depending on your need, generate the tax year you need. Then for the filters, you can include and exclude specific transaction types if you want to. Then previous trades, consider all previous trades in the report. This is an option you should leave on. Then you can use the deposit separation tax dots if you want to or not. And you can group all purchases by day and group all search by day. If you have a lot of transactions in your account, this will speed up the generation process of the tax report. Once all done and you have your settings in, we can generate a new tax report. Once you have generated new tax report, you will see in the bottom the total capital gains and the year of the taxation, the taxation method. And if you want to see more information about your tax report, simply click load report. This is a much more detailed view of the report. And once it's loaded up, we will see all the details about the report. The details have loaded and now we can see how much capital gains we had, how much income we had. And if you scroll down, you will see even more details line by line, transaction by transaction, what you exactly did, how much you profited off it or lost on it. We see the income, we see the gift donations, the fee report, the lost and stolen, the closing positions. We have everything in this report. And if you need to submit your report, then simply scroll up and go to download to in this report and then simply click download PDF or download Excel and then you can submit it or give it to your CPA and move from there on. We hope this video was helpful to you and if there are any open questions, please leave them down in the comments and we will happily answer all the comments for you. We wish you happy trading and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.